Okay, this is good. Not so good. Okay. Something you regret. Someone finds you attractive, but you don't like them anymore. Ooh, what happened there? You're in a good place in your life, which I think I've seen yesterday, but then something went downhill again. Your life is like Jack and Jill went up the hill, huh? Because one moment it's good, next thing you blink in an eye, and then it's just the most tragic thing ever. But this is so, this is related to your person, Akko. It's not even you. Mm -hmm. no, I don't have my pen, but I'm going to pretend. Okay. Capricorn, let's begin here. Okay. And also, I'm going to uh, be, we're going to be watching the eclipse as we, as it unfolds. We have 18 days left for the eclipse. And I'll be reading you guys together with it. Let's see. I won't be able to do an extended reading for today because I ha I need to rush because I have so much orders. <laughs> oh. Now, your first card is an empress. Let's talk about this. Okay. Can you lend me your ears first and then understand how to be an empress or to manifest the good things in life? Is that okay? Or do we want to obsess about relationship? I mean, I just did a reading about it yesterday, two days, three days, four days ago, Capricorn. You know, I can give you an insight with an empress. So as a Capricorn, okay, it's very important for, if you're talking about material gains and wealth, astrologically, okay, we would have to look at the second house and then the 11th house, okay? So second house is money how you manage it, how you treat it, all these things. Now, if you're in good placement, as I say, because Saturn right now is in Aquarius, then there's tightening the belt, transit-wise. But if this is your placement in your birth chart, you have Saturn in the second house, I feel like you can be very, very um, restrictive with your money, but you're also restrictive with your speech. You know, you don't say things when you want it. You know, you're kind of like, it's okay, it's fine, you know. But then you'll regret it. So it hinders you with your growth. But money is good because you save, you save, you save, you save. Saturn the second, it's totally all about savings. So that's very important for you. Now, your 11th house, which is kind of, you know, um, very harsh, which is ruled by Mars, you know, let's just say you have Mars in Scorpio still, then you're a go getter with regards to your money. Mars is exalted in Capricorn, which is good, you know, and then your uh, Mars, if it's in Scorpio, it's in its own home, that's good. So you're a go-getter with regards to your dreams. So you have the action, you have the energy, you have the drive. So those are two important planets to know in your chart on how to get to an empress. Empress enjoys luxury, you know, like the finer things in life. And she's also premiere, which means attraction, ace of wands comes to her. Nine of swords, though, you always attract what? The not so good one. The lunar eclipse, which will affect your relationship because moon first, right? Moon rules your seventh house. Chances are whoever you trusted will change your mind. It was already set in stone. The discussion has happened already. The two of you have plans and this is going to be this and that. And then all of a sudden, your person changes, okay? The Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Your question with your person, these are a good combination, Capricorn. I'll talk more about it. You're questioning your person, okay, or you have to ask your person because they will tell you that they cannot commit to you. You got the Ten of Pentacles here with the Seven of Swords, something about them is a liar. Then you have the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune right here. This kind of combination is what we call a windfall. So let's just say, I don't know, I, uh, you know, playing cards or, you know, how you play cards, I don't know. Um, there are good combinations and not so good, right? There's a winning combination. So this right here is a winning combination. That's why it's called the windfall. 
this is a windfall of money means you're gonna get money a lot and then a lot and then a lot and then more and then more and then more okay now how do I know this because when I had my own reading you know by another reader years ago um, 15 years ago but how does that make because I'm 25 so when I was 15 mm, Mm, uh, Empress here with the Wheel of Fortune. So the windfall. When I experience this, first, I experience it in my bakery. Oh, darling, it was crazy. It was crazy. Some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eatreadlove.me. So the windfall that I'm talking about in my bakery was crazy. I'll talk about relationship in a little bit. I went viral. Uh, I have a bakery. It's my second bakery. Um, it's Santa Fe, New Mexico. News covered it. People were lining up at 5 a.m. I was sold out by 7. It's a bakery. People were very greedy with their pastry. I'll take everything. I'll take everything. Everybody who goes in, I'll take everything. I don't even have to sell to, I cannot sell to anyone. You know, I have to limit their, their purchases. So if you want to experience this, right, this kind of abundance, which it, I don't gatekeep over here, what has helped me. And I told you, that's why I gave one particular crystal that you will see in my doorway in front of my house is a smoky quartz and it also comes with a citrine and what do you get here smoky quartz and citrine do you want a windfall yes oh don't get it now don't forget if you make the cut off capricorn only if you like money in abundance if you don't like it you don't have to get this yeah that's passive aggressive you don't have to get it you don't like money you got you get this for free also obsidian and citrine. It's a single piao. This one is a gift. They say that amulets given is stronger than the one that is bought. So this one is a gift. Don't let anybody touch it. You wear it, don't let anybody touch it. So you can check it out. We do ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. And we ship through DHL. Okay, and this is free shipping in the US. So go check it out. Now, if you're a skeptic, don't even try. You're not gonna get a windfall. You're just full of doubts, full of hate. That's just your karma, and I'm not here to change that. You were born to be like that. Like me, I'm born to be this good looking. I cannot change that, you know? It's just this. Wag nang kumontra. Bumili na lang, kasi nagagaganyan pa. So this one, my citrine. I paired this with the smoky quartz. Okay. Wish fulfillment. Did my, your life is about to change for the good. Nine of Cups. But I feel like this is more on your end if you're going to focus on that Empress Moon and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, if you're going to focus on the person who's been consistently lying to you, I feel like you don't need to row with that one because that's facts. They're consi a consistent habitual liar. I wonder if the turtle will tell me that they love me and that they're going to be with me forever. I wonder. I wonder. But... You already experienced the lies, the deceit, the worry, and the stress. But I wonder if the tarot will change. How do you expect the tarot to change that? You already made your choice with your person there. So you feel that coming to me as a reader, you will hear good news about your person. I see good news for you with your life. Monetarily. Money. But again, I know you don't like money. I know you don't like money. So don't get this. No, you don't. No, don't. Don't. Don't get it. Don't get it. Don't. Okay? I was born to be annoying also. Facts. Or you can get a lot of money. Star card, Wheel of Fortune, Empress. Divine timing is at work. Capricorn. But again, you know. They say money is not everything. Have you ever been poor? I have. Mm -hmm. Then you see it. Money is not everything. Right? Star in the Wheel of Fortune. Capricorn. Saturn in your second house can give you this. Uh, uh, wealth 
that will last through generation. But you want the relationship, right? Okay. You can focus on that. Tomorrow we'll touch the subject again. Maybe some. We'll get the abundance. Some. Maybe just one. Whoever you're out there, I'll make sure you get the best one. Okay? I'll see you guys again.